They are brightly colored, well marked, and appear every thousand feet on Boston streets. Still, this vast communication system has, through time and familiarity, become almost invisible, hidden in plain sight. Like a lot of things, they've, been, they've become part of the urban landscape. They're just the backdrop to, to life, but they're important. There are 1,200 fire alarm boxes in Boston, the oldest fire alarm system in the country. In fact, the technology, if you can call it that, is the same as it was when these boxes first went up in 1852. Deputy Chief James Hoare says it's essentially a telegraph using Morse code. You hear it clicking, so five clicks, a space, and then two clicks. But a system as old as this needs the occasional tune-up. We maintain them with paint. We have a crew that goes out and will paint them because if the boxes don't look good, we don't look good. Mario Colucci runs a mash unit of sorts for injured call boxes. His workshop, a mad jumble of fire engine red. I'm the, the guy over here that fixes them, repairs them, and gets them in order. Colucci's most important task, cutting notches in the little wheel that creates the customized location code. Each notch on there represents the number that's on the box. And when the box is pulled, they know exactly where the trouble is. There have been calls to retire the old fire boxes. Many cities have done so already. But Deputy Chief James Hoare says that even in a world filled with cell phones, the old system still has its place no language barrier, no location confusion, and no delay. Pull the hook, and help is there within four minutes. It's as instantaneous as we can get. When something works and it's not broke, don't fix it. Of course, you have to know where the nearest one is located, so keep your eyes peeled for those bright red fireboxes and, while you're at it, the other systems, codes, and patterns that surround us, after all. They're right there in front of us, even if they are hidden in plain sight. Most people don't know, but if you know, you know. We were the first media to be granted access to Mario Colucci's alarm box hospital, but only after swearing not to reveal its location. The reason? Fire buffs. There's a legion of well-intended firefighting enthusiasts who would love to knock on the door of his workshop and ask him a million questions.